One thing that I've noticed about wearing my Invaders in sweatshirt lately, it's a nerd magnet. And I got to geek out about animation with some really cool people tonight. And this led me thinking again about Sue Rose and how much I really love her work. I've wanted to do a tribute to her for a while and I found out she had a social media. So I reached out because I really want to talk to her. Pepper Ann's here for moral support tonight. So I decided I'd finally do an informal tribute to Sue Rose and her work. My sources on this are her Wikipedia page and her IMDb profile. Now Sue Rose is a lot of things. She's a cartoonist, she's a voice actor, she's a writer, she's a producer. She got her start around the 80s. The first thing she ever created with her friend Joanna Ferrone was a character called Fido Dido. Rhythmic name, don't you think? Now this character didn't have any go on to any shows or anything, but it was licensed to PepsiCo and used for their ads and commercials. Later on, she did do she created Pepper Ann with Disney Television Animation that ran in the 90s and is now burned into the memories of 90s kids everywhere. Isn't that great? Uh, Pepper Ann's recently been getting some attention about some of the issues that it tackled. It was, it is one of the few shows that started women. Unfortunately, yeah, that's just a lot less common. But it was also rare in another way. Around that time, slice of life shows were very rare. And most people tend to think of Doug when they think of slice of life shows, but Pepper Ann was genuinely very funny, really well animated, had cool character designs, and the character designer of that show went to create Codename Kids Next Door, which I'm also obsessed with. Let's keep the focus on Sue Rose, though. But it had a catchy theme song, really unique characters, and were they were a different kind of odd. A lot of characters, especially nowadays, you like odd, you like dealing with adolescents. But this was at a time when that was really not as common, so it paved the way for a lot of these shows, and unfortunately doesn't get enough credit. Now, I've talked about their, her next show quite a few times already, and I still love it. Yes, the same person who created Pepper Ann also created Angela Anaconda, and I love it! I am a huge fan of that show. I'm fascinated by the different route it took, but there are still similarities. You still had a leading character who was very odd and not your typical optimistic here. Someone who had, who was angsty and had, could have a mean streak at times and had an overactive imagination and just dealt with life in whatever unfair situations came of it. Now, I've talked about this show quite a few times in my other videos, it still makes me really, really happy. And it's clearly made an impression on other people. Whether people like or hate the show, you can't deny that this work makes an impression. And that's what Sue Rose does, she makes an impression. She's also done live action shows. Now, she did a show for Nickelodeon called Unfabulous, which Sadly, a lot of people don't remember. It was it was one of the few shows not part of the Schneiderverse. Unfabulous was another show about adolescence, starring a very young Emma Roberts, by the way. For those of you who know Emma Roberts as a mean girl, watch Unfabulous. Now her thing was, she saw the world through music, which was really cool. She always had a different song, and that lasted for four seasons, and it was. It is getting more and more attention now. Yay! Go Sue Rose! She had another show, which was an adaptation called The Sleepover Club. About a group, it was kind of like Are You Afraid of the Dark, but for sleepovers. Rules and rituals, a group of friends. Fun stuff. Adolescence. Yay! Sue Rose and youth. Youth forever, Sue Rose. You're awesome. Interesting that Sue Rose, while she hasn't created shows recently, she is still active and working. She does still create artwork, and she's actually written an episode of Doc McStuffins, with, who was created by Chris Nay. Guess what? Chris Nay was a writer on Angela Anaconda. I've talked to her. And I was curious about what the, what the process was while writing it. She said, just follow the formula of the show. I'm going to know more about these shows about Pepper Ann about Angela Anaconda someday, because these are still burned into my memories in a very, very positive way. Sue Rose has also voice acted. In the mid-2000s, 
she had an additional voice for an episode of American Dragon Jake Long. So she is still a part of your childhood. If animation is part of Hollywood, Hollywood is six degrees of Kevin Bacon, animation is three degrees of Kevin Bacon. It's a much smaller industry. Everyone knows everyone. So she's there and she's gonna get more credit. And interesting of recently, Sue Rose wrote a couple episodes of a show called Kuku Harajuku, which is a show created by Gwen Stefani. It's a foreign international show, and that's really all I could say about it. It's about a fantasy version of Tokyo called Harajuku. It's about a group of friends. So, good to see that Sue Rose is still active. I'm so happy to see more where she goes. It's wonderful to see you that she is still active with her fans. She has been reacting to the articles about Pepper Ann, which has been getting more attention that is much deserved. <laughs> so, that is the mission of tonight. She's gonna get more attention one of these days.